Hello everybody, this is Swaverly, and I am recording this on my birthday, September the 29th. I am officially 30 years old today, so yay! I'm old. Hey guys, you know, I've changed clothes. Um, my parents were coming over today for my birthday, but I was expecting them later in the day, so it was kind of a surprise for them to come over, so that's why I'm wearing a different thing of clothes. But we're back in the Love Cube. Um, I'm, I've put a lot of thought into it, that's why I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the cartoon version of me anymore, it's just so much work to, you know, sync up the audio to when I actually start talking because any sound that happens in the environment, the mouth opens and it just feels off. I don't know, I might bring him back, I'm not sure, so... It's, it's, it's going to be kind of a weird thing for that, so let's just get back into this. Um, there we go, guys. Sorry, I needed to get some more light on my face there. Anyway, what happened last time, um, I don't really want to go over it because I think YouTube was mad at me about that one, so... You know what? I am going to lower this. It's a little too hectic. <laughs> That's right, we caught the, her doing something naughty. No, Akira-chan, you got it all wrong. I didn't do anything. By the way, this is the Steam-friendly version, by the way. This isn't the adult version, so keep that in mind. Akira-chan and I are driven out of the room for the time being. The part, bad part about having glasses is that any light you have shining on you is reflected in these bad boys. Uh, that's not so bad. I'm fine with that. Just please spare my life. Akira Chan and I are both prostrating ourselves before Ishitaka Sensei. Well, it wasn't necessarily milk that was the liquid being spilled in that scene. <laughs> I hope that is there. Hope that wasn't picking up my mouse on the screen there. Sorry about that. Yes, I'm on my feet! Whoop! Whoop. I stand up, then take a seat on the sofa as indicated while I stood up and then I sat back down. Yori? Hmm. Oh, that's adorable. So... Oh wait, I have the pat option. Oh, that's right, it doesn't let me do head pats, it only lets me... Can I do any pat but There. Oh god, that achievement. I don't know if that's showing up. Iori sneaks a peek at me, then quickly looks down at the ground. The room is silent again. We're back at square one. This is awkward. Since I'm the cause of all of this, I can't exactly start chatting about our past out of the blue. But I can't apologize for earlier either, since we're all avoiding mentioning the incident. In the end, I settle for watching her cues in silence. So, so 
Yeah, it seems like you were very alone before we walked in. <laughs> yeah, sorry for interrupting your private time. Onei-chan! You're not supposed to talk about that. There must have been some other way around it. Come on! I feel bad that she's so downhearted, but I can't help mentally screaming at her. Oh, wait, though, that hides it. I thought I could just press space and it would go. Ishitaka Sensei buries her face in the armrest of the sofa and wails. Oh, she's taking this very hard. I'm embarrassed enough that just the thought of someone catching me burr, 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 it's into I'm a guy. So it must be even more embarrassing for a girl, hmm. Um, well, I guess you, you could. Oh, wait. Um, well, I guess you could say that. Long time no see, Iori. Uh, no, I mean, it's a pleasure to see you again, Ishitaka sensei. Yeah. That's right, this guy, I gave him a wee- like, a weenie voice. Akira-chan looks between the two of us curiously. <laughs> yes, fight all. Hey, wait, Akira-chan? She's gone in a flash. Mm. Now it's just the two of us again. Why'd you abandon me, Oni-chan? I can't stand this pressure! It's times like this that I really need that vim and vigor. Clouds! Oh wow, there's a really great view out the window. So that's what you get on the 29th floor, hmm. It's totally different to my apartment, where the only view I have is of the house next door. My brain is doing its best to try and avoid facing reality. Uh... Yeah, what is it? Of course it was. <laughs> this is okay, I totally get it. Yeah, I do that for my research too. <laughs> I may be a nobody, but I draw hentai too, you know? So I understand that having reference materials and real life experience is important. I mean, it's really hard to do that voice for an extended period of time. It's silent again. Did I do something wrong? Yes. You're a guy. You've, you, when, if you have to ask if you've done something wrong, chances are you've done something wrong. I've also tried stuff like uh, the floor before as a fellow hen guy artist. I totally empathize with her. Anyway, I can't just sit here in silence. I gotta lighten the mood with a new topic. I clear my throat in preparation. Um, so... <clears throat> it really has been a while, huh? 
About 10 years, right? Oh, right, I remember. It was fifth grade when you moved out of the place next door. I can't be believe you remember me after all this time. Hmm. Fail. Oh, Nate Chan, this conversation is going nowhere fast. For te uh, uh. Perhaps today will mark my retirement from Hanai Manga. I can handle a bit of overtime, so please give me a recommendation to the editorial department or something. As I'm preparing for my imminent demise, I notice several copies of Ishitaka Sensei's manga on the shelf. I open my mouth before I have time to think about what I am saying. Boobs. <laughs> I can't believe we both actually became manga artists. I mean, I know I'm the nobody who's nowhere near your level, but still. She's still looking down. I don't know what I should say. Should say. She, she, she does she notice the bulge and goes, ooh, woo? <laughs> Such an old, terrible meme. I need to not do that. I have a long list I want to talk about, but the earlier incident means I have to pick and choose my words carefully. She's so shy, she can't even answer the intercom. It's no wonder she's not good at chit-chatting. Anyway, I never be, well, it'd never be in my wildest dreams imagine that Ishitaka Sensei, the master, would be my childhood friend, Iori. Looking back, even as a child, Iori was quite talented at drawing. She moved into the house next door when I was little. We both love manga, so we'd hang out a lot together. It makes me nostalgic to think back on those evenings after school we'd spent drawing together. We'd even talked about wanting to be a manga artist when we grew up. Then in the fifth grade, her family moved again, and since then, Iori must have also been working hard to all this time to realize her dream. I don't know the details on her side, but our reunion has made possible partially because of my efforts. They weren't in vain! The thought fills my chest with warmth. I'm so glad I didn't give up drawing manga. Still, I never expected Iori to be a artist publishing in the same magazine as me. I'm not, I, I'm not avoiding the curse words because of, you know, I don't want this thing age-restricted. Hell, my videos aren't even monetized. But it just feels weird saying it. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. What? Why would I be? No, not disappointed. No, 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 of course not. I'm not disappointed. I mean, I draw hentai too. In fact, I'm actually getting a huge fan of yours. I'm actually, I'm getting a huge, no, no, I'm. Uh, I look forward to reading your stories every issue and I pre-order all of your Tanglebomb. As a fellow man, uh, manga, not man, is, as a fellow manga artist, I really respect you. In fact, you're kind of my idol. Aw, uh, sorry. Got a bit carried away there. At some point, I moved to the edge of my seat, leaning forward eagerly. I moved myself back to my original position on the sofa. Crap. 
I was being super creepy right now. Yes, yes I was. I got all worked up, acting like I'm her number one fan. Although what I said is true, I might have turned her off by letting her know I go so far to, as to pre-order. But as a fellow hentai manga artist, I of course gonna secure the good stuff. <laughs> and she's just chomping on a horn in the background. I'm surprised to see Iori smiling. A dumb noise escapes my lips as I sit there staring stupidly. <laughs> wow, there are some very adorable poses that these characters are making. They're so animated. Crap. Ishitaka Sensei is so adorable. Yes, she is very adorable. She was cute when we were kids, but as an adult, she's a real knockout. Finally seeing her smile has given my mood a real boost. And you know, there was all that new story in your last anthology. I thought it was really, really good. Like, it's not only your art that's amazing, but your story development is great too. So what he's saying is both your plot and your plot are good. And your dialogue is perfect. It really brings the characters to life. <laughs> there are some authors who seem to peak when they get popular and their quality goes down, right? But you just keep getting better and better. I'm so impressed with every new release, and it's like you really challenge yourself. <laughs> Especially that scene in the new story, that two page spread was the best. Oh, could you pass me that copy for a moment? Okay, I was getting really worried there. I might have to go out a couple of these panels. There it is! This scene! The scene where the heroine's getting herself on the corner of a desk. Yes, just like how you were doing. Oops. <laughs> I screwed up. I stepped on the most obvious landmine. I freeze with the manga still spread open on the double page desk blumping scene. It's, I think it's actually more fun to come up with curse words than saying the, you know, the no-no words on YouTube. Um, well, that's, you know, the scene is, it's, it's really good. The depiction is, um, very realistic and... I'm such an idiot. How could I bring this scene up and gush over it like that, now of all times? No! I didn't mean it! Crap, I made her angry. I'm breaking out in a cold sweat all over. Honestly, I probably should leave. Thank you, Marley. Ah, uh, okay. I totally get her. No one wants to be around an insensitive oaf of a man. I'm really sorry. Please excuse me. I respond weakly and get on my feet. Oh crap, how am I going to tell Akira-chan that I lost the assistant job? Oh, um, Ishitaka-sensei? No, Iori! What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Yeah, milk the dog for views. Milk the dog for views. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Get those sleepy peeps out of your eyes. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Here, you want to play? I know this is a bit late for this, but... I'm really glad that I can meet you again, and as a manga artist at that... Let's both keep working hard. Not that we'll ever see each other again. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you... Well, see you around. With a little wave of my hand, I leave Iori's workplace. I heave a long, heavy sigh as I stare at the sunset. I really did it this time. I was warned that I'd be fired from the magazine if I messed this up. That's what happens when no a nobody incurs the wrath of one of the top dogs. My opportunity to be an assistant has fallen through too. I flop down on my futon. Still, you already achieved her dream too, huh? I reach out and pick up one of Ishitaka Sensei's comics from my bookshelf. She really is talented. Although I'm no master, I could still tell, tell how much effort the author has put into their work just by looking at their art. As kids, manga left, in a, left a deep impression on the both of us. And so we learned how to draw it together. We even vowed to become manga artists together. After Iori Mu schools, we lost touch. I hadn't heard from her since. But to think, she was so close all along. It had never crossed my mind that we would be in such similar positions, even down to both working on hentai. We made our debut at the same time and in the same magazine. And our workplaces, well, they're as different as night and day. But to think that we're both achieving the same dream. Although... Now we're never going to see each other again. Oh, the anime gods have blessed you today, Chinari, because this game's about you, her, your other friend, I forget her name, I'm so sorry, and a third one we haven't met yet. I flop back on my futon again, browsing Iori's book. That's what happens when I don't record for a while. At the top page with that scene. Again, come on! This scene is really freaking good. It's the, Yeah, it would be if it weren't for all these black bars covering stuff. It's wonderfully graphic. The environment, facial expressions, and everything else are super realistic. Okay, now again! Uh... <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm getting changed, pulling my pants off. And then I set the box of tissues, which is dinner, beside of me. I turn a few pages and I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, you're sorry for walking in or sorry for something else, Akira? That's what her name is. Is she gonna say the eh? Oyo? Oyo? Oyo, 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 oyo? It's so small. <laughs> Stop, I, it's the one thing I have. Don't take it away from me. I was getting ready to do some business. Please leave. 
No, uh, Akira-chan, it's not like that. You're kind of getting up in my face, so why don't we all just calm down, okay? And I think I'm going to leave it there. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Swaverly. Oh, I've got some editing to do on this one. So I will see all you guys and all of your beautiful faces in the next video. So later. So